We all knew this was going to happen. Someone, somewhere, was going to invent something that shouldn't have been invented. Science was going to go too far. And it looks like today is that day. This is an early sample of the Lee and Lee Strymer? Streamer? Strimmer? Str I'm gonna go with Strymer. An RGB 24 pin power supply cable. iFixit's ProTech Toolkit gives you the tools you need to tackle any electronics repair challenge. Visit iFixit.com forward slash Linus at the link below and get yours today. I have been sent pretty much no information about this whatsoever. All I know is that it's RGB and it's one of the only components of the modern computer that was still safe. A cable. How do you make a cable RGB lit? I mean, they've done RGB water cooling fittings, but that like kind of makes sense. Cause you can illuminate like a thing that's sitting there, but an RGB cable. Okay, now they're just messing with me. We got like a box within a box. There's probably nothing even in here. Now to be clear, this is not the finished packaging, nor is it the finished product. Um, but they are apparently looking to launch this at Computex 2018. So what do we got here? This looks like some kind of a controller board. This, oh, this definitely has some hand soldering stuff going on here. Uh, you can see that this Molex only has three pins in it, presumably because they don't need 12 volt power. And then they've actually bridged that pin to that five volt. Uh, okay. This is a power lead for the RGB cable itself. And then we got three buttons back here, no documentation. So we're just gonna have to experiment to find out what they do. This is the RGB cable extension. So they haven't found a way to retrofit your existing power supply to make it full RGB, but they've got this, uh, this harness here that you can plug your existing one into. So you got 12 kind of um, optical translucent doodads here. You've got some LEDs within this casing here and then it looks like the whole thing sits on here. All right. Well, let's start by plugging it in. All right, so the idea is that whatever color your power supply cables are, they would all be hidden away. You would plug in this guy. So there's nothing inherently RGB about the cables themselves. Let's plug in this guy. So it looks like there's some kind of daisy chain system where you can plug this controller board into your first RGB cable thing and then you can plug another one into that or something. Oh. Well, it doesn't look like they thought that one through. I mean, it is prototype, but like, how am I supposed to get a connector in there? Apparently they're considering changing it out for a SATA connector anyway, which I think would probably be a good idea. Oh, oh, that's fragile. Oh, that is a, oh, that is not a reinforced. This is, this is very prototype. Okay, this housing is not on here very well. Nope, right. Okay. Okay, I can't quite tell what the pattern is right now. Uh, is it me wiggling this wire? It's making it, oh. Uh. You got, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, that cannot be intentional. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so it's a loose contact in there. Very prototype, 10 out of 10 prototype. Okay. Oh, it clips onto the cable combs, not to the cables themselves. So, so far, 
The wiring is fragile and it's a pain in the butt to install. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hide away our regular cable and we're gonna experience the effect. I think we're gonna have to kill the lights some more. It's not that bright. How's that? Okay. Let's try some of the different modes here. I think I'm changing colors right now. Uh, okay, let's try this other button. None of them are labeled, so I'm just kind of guessing right now. Hey, that one's pretty cool. It's like, can you imagine being the engineer who's like, I went to school for eight years and they have me designing RGB animations on a cable. <laughs> and I'm not even mad, I'm just disappointed. <laughs> I think Alex is gonna need this for his rave PC. Holy crap. There's so many modes. That's actually really cool. Oh my God, you would say that. Every cable should look like that. That is awesome. Are you just trying to like... No, that's so cool. Annoy people right now? That is really cool. Like imagine all the cables being like that. Can I like take a dump on your parade a little bit? Okay. It's not actually the cable. It's oh. just a piece that sits oh. on top of it. Oh, oh. <laughs> not so cool. You still like it? <laughs> yep. All right, so all that's left now then is to determine how much it affects performance. So we fired up the Unigen Valley benchmark and no, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> In conclusion, I'm a little disappointed in the mechanism. I had kind of imagined that like RGB water cooling fittings, we were gonna have an RGB element within the housing of the cable over here where it connects to your stock cable and the LEDs were gonna be in there and then the actual sleeving of the wires was gonna be some kind of like fiber optic element or something like that, and, and the sleeving itself would glow. That was sort of my expectation, and I'm sure someone's gonna do that at some point. But if you're into that kind of look, like Ed, and you want your cables to have something near them, if nothing else, that glows RGB with a bazillion and one animations, then I guess mission accomplished, Lee and Lee. We have no idea how much they're gonna cost and we have no idea where you're gonna get them or um, what availability looks like for PCI Express or eight pin connectors. But there you have it, a world's first RGB 24 pin computer power cable, for better or for worse. The Mastrop Fostex TRX00 Mahogany headphones are a closed back pair featuring a magnesium alloy frame, Fostex's signature biodynamic drivers, and a very well-reviewed sound signature. They come with a removable cable, a carrying pouch, and a two-year warranty, and you can check them out on Mastrop at the link below. So thanks for watching guys. If you disliked this video, you can hit that button. Hell, if you dislike RGB lighting, you can hit that button. But if you liked the video, hit the like button, get subscribed, or maybe consider checking out where to buy the stuff we featured at the link in the video description. Also down there is our merch store, which has cool shirts like this one and our community forum, which you should totally join.